Can this giant gummy worm hold your weight? We're asking burning questions about weird products, and if these two contestants can predict what will happen, they're going home with a bunch of cash. Are you familiar with the Fat 19 slushy maker? I am. Absolutely. Yeah. You add a liquid into it, you slush it up, it turns like sodas into slushies. My question to you, if we put marinara sauce into the slushy maker, would it make a marinara slushy? We've got our scientist standing by over there, ready to experiment on the slushy maker. You two have to lock in your vote. I wonder if it's too much vinegar? Can I ask about where the sourcing of the marinara is from? It's probably great value. <laughs> oh, I was right! Melissa, you are a scientist. And I am is a this, scientist. Is this I'm what my... scientists wear all the time? As somebody who worked in a zebra fish genetics lab, pound for pound, this is exactly what all my coworkers nice. looked like. Okay, you two have your answers locked in. Let's see what you're going with. No way! Okay, definitely. You're going definitely? Yeah, and it's interesting that somebody here disagrees with a woman. <laughs> Canceled. All right, our scientist is ready to slush. I'm also a little concerned about the vinegarness, but there's a lot of sugar in tomato. I think neither of the two of you have ever been to Italy in the summer, and this is what everybody drinks. It is viscous. Uh, oh, yeah. It's gonna hurt me then. Ooh, do you hear that crunch? Now look at that technique. Mm -hmm. Are we catching that? It does take a minute or two. Yeah. yeah. Now our burning question scientists don't talk, so you gotta kinda read their faces to see if there's any telltale signs of what's happening. Here we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Did it slush? Uh, uh, well, what? I think it may have. It's a lot thicker than it was. That looks pretty yeah. thick yeah. to me. All right, he's gonna give it a taste and we're gonna find <laughs> out if it's slushed. Oh, that it looks, looks slushy. slushed. No! Oh, no Can't slush marinara, sorry Italians. All right, on to the next question. Our scientist has prepared a chocolate fountain, but we're not putting chocolate in it. We gotta see what happens when we put weird stuff in it. What is it, Eric? It's our classic Will It Fountain, Tabasco brand Sriracha. We're going to attempt to make a Sriracha fountain. You have to guess if it will fountain. Now, what does it mean to fountain? It makes beautiful curtains, just like yeah. a chocolate fountain would. We've done a lot of these things before. Right, right, yeah, yeah, But yeah. sometimes we have to add stuff to it to get it to fountain correctly, mm -hmm. to make it thicker. Are uh -huh. we doing any of that? No, we're not adding anything but sriracha. Yeah, I think it, it might. Okay, I have my answer. Could. Oh, they're gonna go I have off a, as it. I have a feeling he's gonna disagree <laughs> with me again. All right, let's see your answers in three, two, one. Definitely. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh. I think it's gonna fountain. All right, Joey. Now, there is a heating element in there. That helps. Oh, the sounds. Our scientist is a fountain expert, it so he's gonna make the call on if it does fountain or not. Now, does he have a master's in fountaining? No, he's got a PhD. It is a PhD. Mm -hmm. Oh my there gosh. No, oh, will it fountain? Oh, well, so what's gonna happen? <gasps> is it? Oh, oh, oh. Up? Do we have enough? Oh man, it looks pretty good. Is it enough? Oh! Is it too thick? There might not be enough in there. <gasps> oh! Look at that! It looks beautiful. That's pretty good. Let's see. What does he think? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Woo! Sriracha does found. How about that? All right. So this is the world's smallest stretch. Armstrong from Bat19.com. However. Today, we're dealing with the big boy version of Stretch Armstrong, and I wanna know, can you stretch the big boy Stretch Armstrong's arms six feet in length before it breaks? We're talking six feet, like tip of one hand to tip of the yes. other? Yes. How big a boy are we All right, well, let's, let's bring him out of his bath. We've got a real wet one on deck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks so big. All right, so that is the regular Stretch Armstrong. All right, I know my answer. Yeah, uh... Six feet. A real homunculus-looking guy. <laughs> Waving at uh, you. Hello, hello. Whoa, and he's giving me a little oh. flex. Will Stretch Armstrong stretch six feet? Definitely! No! Oh. Ben thinks it will. I think I'm gonna have to help the scientist with this one. Are you ready, scientist? Yeah, I can't wait to see these two big boys grip it and rip it. Six feet. Stretch. Oh, stretch. oh, oh no! no! Oh, no! <laughs> hang on, big boy, hang on! He's a big, big boy. Oh, he's still going. Oh, oh no, I heard a rip. Sounds... You can 
can see the pain on his face. You can do it! It's like tug of war with a child. I don't know if it's that close. Oh, no! Oh, God! Look at him! He kind of got ripped a couple times. So, scientist, what is that one? No! Leslie! You're going home with a little bit more cash in this round. And I think I'm also going home with a little arm candy as well. <laughs> All right, on to the next round. Bat 19 cubes. They're like spitballs, but they are cubes. There are, scientist has them right there. They're very small. However, when placed in water, they soak up that water and turn into pretty sizable cubes. So my question, if we place those, in Prime by Logan Paul. Will they grow to their regular size? I assume there's a lot of water in Prime. I've never had it. I've also never had it, which is crazy looking at me. I assume there's sodium in there, and I wonder if that's gonna interfere with the-, the Ion channels? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at my scientist to see if he can give me any cues mm, with his face, if he knows something. Cubes. Any cubes with his face. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, show us your answers. No way! No way! Uh -uh. No way. Not happening. I believe in the power of water. Interesting. Not gonna work. I think there's too many other things in there. All right, our scientist has been baking this all day. He's really proud to show you two. What is it gonna look like? Whoa! It worked, I think. Did it? Are those normal size? <laughs> No. It looks pretty small. They're too small. So it's about half the size as a normal cube. All right. So what's the verdict? What do you think? Did it cube? Oh, ah! it did! Can I smell it? I want to smell know the what cubes? Prime smells like. Yeah, throw us a cube. Oh. Nightmare jelly. It does look like a little jiggler, doesn't it? It smells a little jiggler. <laughs> like a little jello jiggler. It smells like a regular energy drink ghost style thing. Do you think it soaked all the water up out of the prime and now it's just like the sugar? What's left, left is, yeah, it's don't just drink. No, it'll give you so much energy you'll don't die. <laughs> Putty. Yeah. Love it. I know her. We love it. We got a lot of it here at Bat 19. Question is, can putty prevent a glass from breaking? If we wrap that bottle of Stang soda in one pound of liquid glass putty and drop it from head height, will it break on the ground? Or will it protect it? Oh. That's a decent amount. That seems like a lot, that right? That seems like a lot. All right, Joey is going to wrap that, and as he does that, you're going to lock in your answers. Easy. Three, two, one. Definitely. Oh yeah, baby. Definitely, it's gonna work. You know. He's got three of them on there. Is it three so far? Is it four? Three. Oh, I thought it would look like more. <laughs> I thought it would look like more. Do you think it'll bounce? When it comes to this kind of thing, we want to expand the amount of time over which the impact happens, like a bumper on a car. I am less confident now that I'm seeing it. I thought it was gonna look thick. Eric, you put yourself on the line. What do you think's gonna happen? I think <gasps> it's gonna protect it too. All right, we got a mop on standby. Our scientist uh, is ready. Putty, my putty. my heart is racing. All right, a little higher, a little higher. Oh, don't oh. push it. And drop. Oh! oh. Yay! Definitely! It looks good. Is it even cracked? Do we want to push it? That works great. We'll push it. What I are mean, you talking about? Let's Give push it, a it force. real good. Go. And go. Oh! And not a drop. Yeah. Because I was wondering if maybe there'd be like a fracture or something that the putty was containing. Liquid glass putty did it. You both were right. And we're on to the next round. The Sour Pickleball. <laughs> Is it on here? No, go on. The Sour Pickleball. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> One of the most polarizing candies we have here at Bat 19. Is it polarizing? A lot of people like the challenge, but hate the taste. It will turn your tongue really green if you eat one. So my question is, can the Sour Pickle Ball color in an image of the Hulk? Like a crayon. Can I see the size? Bring him in. Oh, baby. Okay. The pants do not count because the pants are purple. That's right. Don't try to trick us. Don't you trick All us. All right. I'll <laughs> let the pants slide. That's a chunky candy. Okay. I think I know. I'm ready. All right. They've got their answers locked in. Three, two, one. Definitely. No way. Oh. Oh, he's already he's coloring. Ferociously scribbling. Think how much dye, like it makes your tongue so green. Billy he's really tongue. rubbing hard. He is. He's it's like giving it's doing it's a, all. a tombstone rubbing. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, that might not be good for me. That's a lot of effort. Is he having a hard time or is he really doing it? For the folks at home, 
He is sweating so much. Not the pants. <laughs> don't don't do the pants. We need a purple candy for the pants. Oh man, look at his fingers. Oh, that's good. The I think. <laughs> Pours it all on his fingers and oh, not on the paper. Maybe he's so oh, sweaty. Oh, oh, I have a joke. Looks like someone's got a green thumb. Oh, nice. sort of a plant, plant joke. joke. Oh no! Come on! <laughs> All right, let's see. Did he color it? Oh! oh! That's pretty legit. It was really good. It worked. Oh my god. That's shocking, and I will accept defeat on that one. Ben, that's some cash in your pocket. Woo! Have either of you had the M berry before? No! Okay. Definitely. I tried it once, but it didn't really work on me. So the M berry takes away sour taste. So like if you take this miracle berry tablet and have something super sour, it won't taste sour at all. In fact, it'll taste sweeter. Huh. Okay, yeah. Now, my question is, we have the world's most sour soda here at Bad 19. <gasps> if you took the M berry, could you even tell it apart from a regular soda? Oh. oh, that's a good one. So we're gonna be comparing it against Mountain Dew Voltage, okay. which is not sour at all. Our scientist has to be blindfolded and accurately tell which is the staying and which is the voltage. They're the same flavor profiles, but ours is really sour, and the Mountain Dew is not sour at all. So he's about to pop that M berry in. All right, and he's gonna let it dissolve on his tongue. So while he lets it dissolve, let's see what you're thinking. I will say, staying is Unbelievably sour. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like it's sour to the point where it burns your throat. I've it's never had Mountain Dew Voltage. Nobody before, has. So this is an <laughs> unknown entity to me. I have a lot of faith in staying. I know my answer. No way! I'm saying definitely. Definitely to life. Definitely to taking risks. And definitely to Joey messing up <laughs> on identifying which so, one is which. Leslie, you're saying it definitely will make it impossible for him to tell which soda is which. Yes. All right, let's put the blindfold on him. We can see which is oh. which, but he cannot. Taste them both first. Here we go. We're going okay. for a taste. Oh, I saw a reaction. He's having something to drink. It could be a reaction to anything. Okay. Oh, I saw a reaction. Oh, fair. He's going to make his call. Which is Sting and which is Mountain Dew? Oh. Oh! I think he got it. He accurately identified Sting even through the M bear. Yes. Uh -huh. Scientist, was that difficult? Did you get any sour? Really? He oh, still okay. tasted sour. All right, Ben. Your winnings are mounting. Woo! We have a ton of putty in this building. Oh yeah. And if you've ever seen one of our videos, you guys know what you can do with putty. You can. Eat it. No. Okay. <laughs> you can. Uh, decorate your room. Okay guys. Pop it. <laughs> you can bounce it, you can stretch it, and you can rip it. Oh uh, yeah. Sure. My question is, can you rip it at 10 pounds? 10 pounds of putty. Go ahead and bring it in. What is that? Oh, that's a lot. That's 10 pounds of putty. Wait, wait, what kind of putty? That is honey hive putty. Oh. Can't, don't you, don't, Joey, don't start to rip it. This is tough. I think it's a very difficult thing to sort of get your fingies around. Ben, what do you think? When you have that much of it, it's so thick. I don't know if a human can do it. Let's lock them in. Can you rip 10 pounds of putty? No way! Definitely. Uh-uh. No, that's way too May much. May thy putty chip and shatter. All right, our scientist is ready over there. Let's go ahead and bring in the scientist to rip it. Wait, what? Oh! No! All right. And he's kicking him out of the ring. He's not going to let him fight. <laughs> this is some bull crap, Eric. Mom, mom, This is some hey. Bush League stuff hey. falling here, Bush Eric. League. Full of surprises here. All right, let's see. If our scientist can rip it in three, two, one, rip. Oh! Amazing! Dang. He annihilated that putty. Tagging back in. All right, good job. So Leslie with the big win there. Woo! On to the next round. Have you two seen our world's smallest blender? Yeah, it's cute. No. Well, we do have a world's smallest blender, and there it is. Oh, Aww. wait, let me see. And guess what? It You're works. Aww. Go ahead and turn it on there. Yep. My question to you is can we make the world's smallest smoothie with the world's smallest blender? Will it blend up 
a banana into yogurt. It does spin, but it's not like a blade. All right, we do have a little milk with it as well. Okay, I was about to say something a bit thinner than yogurt, and oh my god, the tiniest little piece of banana. Oh, he's oh, he's putting it in there. Is it that brand is Great Value Milk. Thank you again to we, Great Value. It's up to the scientists, but I'm gonna go ahead and say scientists, I think we gotta see it have no big chunks. Chunk, chunk. All right, all right. That was an extremely little amount of milk. All right, let's make our predictions here. Will it make the world's smallest smoothie? No yeah! way! Oh. I think it will. Um, I have faith in little things. Scientists, blend that up. Will it blend? The original Will It series. Oh, and he missed oh. the button. Oh, on did first it not even blends? turn on? Oh, he's oh. going for the higher setting. Is it trying, but it's not working? Come on, little guy. Oh, 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 oh it's going. <laughs> it's going. Is that top speed scientist? <laughs> he's got his glass ready. Let's go ahead and give it a pour. Oh, Ooh. Come on. how smooth is it? All right, oh, well, that part's. Oh, oh, banana just came straight oh, out. Oh, man, <laughs> that's just a banana with milk on it. Can I get a verdict, scientist? Official. Wow, well, cute really let you down, Leslie. Give me a win! Yeah! <laughs> Boo cute! Boo cute! So, looks like Ben was our winner for this round. Leslie, you went with cute, you got burned. On to the next round. The world's largest gummy worm. Could it hold you? Would you trust it if you were dangling out the window of a building? Oh, hold you like that. Like rope? My question is, can we take four of the world's largest gummy worms and suspend Joey for five seconds in the air? They are pretty thick. Can you hold one up, please? And there's one. That's a Four of those around a bar. <gasps> he's basically got to like hold himself. He doesn't have to like do a pull up or anything. All right, I'm ready. All right, they've got their answers locked in. Will he hang? Definitely. Yes, I'm gonna believe oh. in life, believe in love. I'm going no way on this. Oh, <laughs> have faith in the gummy, Eric. So he's got two for each hand. Leslie is nervously I am awaiting. Scared. All right, Joey. So you've got to stay up for five seconds. Seconds before tumbling to the ground here. <laughs> Come on, Gummy! All right, you think you're ready? Oh, oh he's God. squeezing them now. Oh, he's squeezing them together. He's changing now. the technique oh. at the last second. All right, here he goes. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 One, oh. Two, two, three! Oh. 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 My son! <laughs> they didn't break though. They, they almost did. They kind of just um, slid off. They yeah. didn't snap off. Right. Well, that was pretty close. Mm -hmm. You thought it was gonna work for a second, didn't you? Yeah, I, I it was really work. did. And he's going yeah. back in. <laughs> it's, a one, no, no. it's a compromise one, though. It's a compromise. One, two, two three, three, four, four five. Yeah! It happened on the second one, I'll give it to you. Yeah! Dang. Give us a victory warmer over here, scientist. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He's oh, gotta yeah. be happy with that one. <laughs> All right, that was our first episode of No Way. Our two contestants are walking away with some cash. And a big thanks to our scientist over there for experimenting on all of our VAT19 products. We'll see you next time. VAT19.com